Hello guys, uh, this is Teachers Binary Options channel. I just want to show you guys how you can add the indicators to MetaTrader 4. A lot of guys have been emailing me. They've been asking me how can we, like we can't find the installation files and all that. So I just want to make it easy for everyone. Uh, so for those who don't have MetaTrader 4, I already have MetaTrader. I'm sharing it on on dropbox you can just email me i'll i'll send you the the link and then you can download it for yourself so what you do here you just quickly go to metatrader you can see here and then you download once you click on download this will pop up you can just say start download if you are using idm like the way i'm i'm using idm for as my download manager so in your case you might be using the windows download manager it's all the same you just follow the instructions once you click on the link it will download the file uh, and you can also choose where to where that where the file goes in my case i think this one is going to i didn't check it should be in the compressed folders the compressed files so when i finish downloading this uh, assuming that you already have a MetaTrader 4 installed, this is MetaTrader 4. You just have to launch the MetaTrader 4 simply by double clicking. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, let me quickly just uh, let me see what I can do here. Let me put a new chart. I also want to show you how you can create your own charts. Let me just close these ones. These are some strategies that I've been trying also. I always like to do new strategies. So to make your charts, you just go to, uh, you go to file, click new. This is very simple guys. Installing shouldn't be like a hassle. Mm, so you just click on new chart and then you get this chart. So by default, you, the chart will be on M1, H1, meaning one hour. You can see it here once you put your mouse on top, one hour. Okay. So for my strategies, uh, I use M1. And I also go here to set it to candlestick instead of the butchers. I click here. And I also zoom it up to the last. So I click zoom. All right and then let me just put big this one's too big all right once i get this you can also just right click on the chart go to properties okay that one is finished downloading i'll explain that later you can just change the the way you want the chart to look you can choose black and white if you want yeah you can just remove the grid you can leave it if you want but me i prefer not having the grid and then here you can also go to common if you want to make sure that you can scroll the charts was if i scroll the chart right now if i scroll it back it will when i'm trying to see something here it can come back on its own like what just happened now so if i want to auto i'll remove the auto scroll so that i can be able to see the charts the way i want until i reactivate it and another thing that I prefer is the chart shift. Because right now you see the chart is here next to the end. If you put it on chart shift, you can be able to see far much better because it comes here on the middle. Okay. So to install the indicators here, you, you simply go to file again. You go to open data folder. You will see these files here. You go to MQ, MQL4. You go to indicators since you want to install the indicators, right? I prefer that you go to this example and then you can create a folder. Uh, in my case, I have this one here. Uh, I'd actually created this, but let me just let me just delete this so that I can actually show you guys how I do it. Uh, this is delete okay so I like going to from from indicators examples and create your own folder so that you 
you will find the it will be easier for you to find the 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 signal the the indicators so you can just create your new folder you can name it whatever you want you can even put your name new t17 all right in 2017 right now okay so i'll remember this folder and i know the way it's, um, you can see on top here this is mq indicators and then example and then that's when you get your folder right so i can just put this one aside uh i can even close this one the meta trader because this one is already open okay now what i need is to whichever indicators the ones i send you you just simply go to it and right click and say extract here once you extract you see the folder just formed here you open the folder you find the instructions here but you can just simply go to the indicators here you just need to copy all the indicators inside and paste and you are done but i prefer that uh, you also keep another copy on the side because if i do this i'm moving so you just copy copy yeah let me just click off this one now i can switch it off so now that i have my meta trader here the indicators are in the folder that i have uh where i've placed them so now what you need you just go to indicators you go to since you know that you put the indicators in the example folder this is example here you can see it here this is your example right you just click on this plus sign here here you can be able to see the folder which were, which i created was new this is the folder right you can see all the indicators are there so just to add the indicators here you can just drag here and say okay you see that is symbol or you can just double click and say okay again right but this one on this color is not okay so let me just right click again and change the color uh here let me just put a quick one let me just say yellow and black and then remove the grid okay this should be okay this is the same setup that i have on my charts so in this case you can see uh it's very easy to to put the the candles so this is how it works you can just right click attach to chart it will ask you do you want to add the word word or you want to change any colors or whatever you want to put you just say okay this is a timer you can see it now it's added on the right top corner so now we need a trigger uh this is how the trigger works you just need to put it on the you double click or you, whichever way you prefer guys and then you add the chart you are good to go so this one you can already see it's on m1 right and also you can see that the everything is set right now you can see we are on an uptrend right this is an uptrend there are also too many tools that you can use here from this taskbar you can see you can draw a line so let's just draw to see i'm just drawing but you can actually see this is the uptrend you can see the channel is going up so what i'm looking at here is something like uh this is an uptrend right you can see it here do you see that and you can actually by this trend line you can actually even find the the support and the resistance for the charts like um, you can see what is happening let's see here but anyway the the support and resistance on the one minute is not very strong so sometimes if you are taking a trade based on the support for one minute one minute two minutes so, sort of those shorty short time frame it might not be a like winning trades was you need to definitely have a, a solid support and resistance line however for the sake of this video uh i just want to show you how meta trader 4 works so you can also change the colors here and also change the so that it can be visible mm, what happened here oh it didn't uh, let me just delete this let me just delete this 
yeah, okay let me add a fresh one so you can see our what's happening now okay so you can see now okay this is how it works you see guys whenever there's a signal it will just pop up and then you will just check is it on the right direction when i mean the right direction i mean first you check is the trend this trade was saying it's going to go down right you can see the arrow here it's going down so when you get a signal that it's going to go down you check here first on your stochastics or on the overbought oversold it should it should be above the 80 line for you to take the trade and at the same time it must be also in the red zone in the channel here that's when you take the trade if it's not in the red channel like right now this trade is very risky but anyway uh i wouldn't take this trade this video was just to show you how to install get us so okay uh with that being said guys i think uh i've covered almost everything on how to install the indicators so uh you can see here this is uh, that line you know i'm tempted to take a trade but i don't have my broker ready so but i just want to show you even here that that thing for support and resistance it actually works but you see this this red channel the lower it's actually a resistant this red channel so you can even take a trade in the in the front there because you see what you see what's happening right now this it has touched into the red zone so once it touches into the red zone i confirm with the overbought oversold down here to see has it crossed or has it touched or you see when it's here it's about to touch so here i'll be looking also on the timer you see the timer is 11 seconds now i'll be looking to take a call on the next if i get the signal here on the next the on the formation of a new candle right now you see here it's it's already crossed on the line so all i'm waiting for is a signal right now and i can take this trade and simply win it so sometimes like right now you see this this is an uptrend the channel is going up you can see the direction so it means if i get a a signal that is going up and then i confirm here you can see that it's a the trade will be a winning trade so far i have not get any signal mm, i'm just tempted to take this trade okay what i'll do i'll put a line when the when when i get a signal Oh, this is a nice setup this one let's just see where it goes i just want to put a line where to end uh, let me just change this let me put it line so that you can see it properly So here I didn't get the signal, but the setup, everything else is confirmed. Before I added the 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 trigger, the sound alert, I would just take a trade. Like when when the setup forms, I would just take the trade. So you can actually see that this is a strong resistance this channel here that's why i say every time when the price touch the gets into the red zone and you get the confirmation and also here you get another con confirmation you, you are not just taking the tra the trades blindly anyway uh i think i can see you can already see this is a winning trade is going up uh let me just close this so in the other case that you have downloaded through dropbox you simply just uh you can see the files are here okay you just extract the files as well you just say extract you see the folder formed here all right uh is this the one mm, no this is 
is not the one. Mm-hmm. Who is the major trader? No, this is not the one. The meta trader, the one I downloaded, went straight to the to the compressed folders. Oh, this should be what the compressed folder. Yes. All right. So here I can just extract the folder. All right. Once the folder is extracted, you can simply copy the folder. Uh, I think it would be better if you copy to your desktop. You just open the folder. You see here, there are two icons. There's this terminal.exe. That's the real icon, the one we need. So you send it to desktop. You will be opening your MetaTrader using this. So here what you need, uh, you can close this. Or you can even put it in another, another folder. So the steps are the same. You simply open the MetaTrader. Once your meta trader is open, once your meta trader is open, uh, where is my meta trader now? Let's just cross this one. Okay, it's coming up. Uh, why is it so slow? Okay, okay. So you can see the difference now. This this with this meta trader, you find you have already four. Uh, this is like the default how it looks so here what I do you just click next if you already have an account you can put existing account but you should create a demo this is for free there's no need for any payments or what so you can just create your demo and then you say next and then you put your details whatever and then you can close it all right so with that being said, uh, now this is the time to install the indicators now. You simply follow the steps. Uh, you just follow the steps. So here, after you, you first you have to create the, the demo account so that here you can be online. You see now there's no connection because I'm not logged in. It has to be online so that you can be able to to install. Because if it's like this, if you, let's say, let's view one chart. If you try to change the timer here to M1, most of the time it will just show you like waiting for update like this and it will never update because you are not logged in. So with that being said, these are some of the mistakes that you can just avoid. Otherwise, you can just log in, create an account here, you log in and then you go to the same procedure. You simply go to file. Um, let's say we have already changed our time to m1 here you simply go to file open data folder you open the data folder you follow the steps mq mql4 uh, indicators uh, examples here you can see there are no files because this is just a new one i just created so now you can just simply close it uh where are the indicators Mm, these are the indicators the one we put before so in this case if i want i can just since i already have this account this uh this folder i can just copy the folder like as it is you copy it here you paste you close now i can reopen the metatrader 4 right so metatrader is very easy to use guys so like I say, this one will keep on popping up since you are not logged in. You need to log in here to your demo. You can just say login. You put the login details, the password, and then you you can click on save so that you don't have to do this every time you log you launch the 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 MetaTrader. So once you are done, once you are done, you just simply go to indicators. Here you look for the example folder because you, you copy the indicators into the example folder. So you look for teacher's indicators since I've already copied them there. I know that they're there. So now it's just double clicking and say, okay. You can see the folder is here. It formed down here. Okay. Uh, you can also add the channels. Uh, what do you mean? Just say, okay. 
please note that i'm just double clicking you can actually just right click and say attach to chat you see the indicators are there but this time it's showing like this was you are not logged in once you are logged in you find out it's a uh, let me just delete this other one once you are logged in you can be able to to move counting down uh you can also add the the other indicators right so basically you can see the formation here like the trigger only comes when there is a support or a resistant you see so here we can actually just zoom it up a bit let's just take the candlesticks and zoom it up all right so you can actually see it's already set up it's very easy guys uh if you have any problems with the, the setup i think this is for you and also while least we are there uh let me just pause the video a while anyway i think this is what i wanted to show you guys it's very easy if you can if you need to uh, it's very easy to install the indicators and to use them as well i hope you find this useful guys thanks for watching